Good morning. Uh, we'd like to go over the setup of the EM38 with the Allegro Field Computer and a Garmin Backpack Unit. This is called the DAS 70 system. Uh, when you get to the field, the first step is to turn it on and let the temperature uh, of the outside to be the same as the inside of the uh, EM38. Sometimes we'll go out in the field, it'll be, uh, we'll be in an air-conditioned car or we'll be in a heated car, and then when you move it out into an environment such as this, which is colder than the truck, uh, the temperature has to uh, equilibrate. Uh, the first step would be to do a battery check. Uh, turn the switch to bat and it should read above 720 absolute. If we didn't, we would replace the batteries, a 9 volt battery that's stored here. The next step is to turn it to the on position and null the unit. We switch the toggle switch to IP and then we use a fine and coarse adjustment to bring it down to zero. After you complete the IP uh, uh, phasing of the signal, you switch the toggle switch to the QP position. You note the reading in the horizontal dipole orientation and you rotate it to the vertical dipole orientation and note the reading. The reading in the vertical dipole orientation should be twice that of the horizontal. To determine the setting, uh, note the difference between the horizontal and vertical and set the horizontal to that difference. Okay. Now you're ready to begin. Uh, there are several functional tests that can be performed only once, probably at the beginning of the survey. They would be switch the meter to the IP position, use the course IP0 setting, and rotate it one click clockwise, and the reading should be between 100 and 200. I have 187. Rotate it back to the original position, and then move the toggle switch to the QP position. Note the reading and rotate the course IP setting one click clockwise. And the reading should be the same. If it is not, use the phase adjustment to adjust it so they, that through this process the reading won't change. That completes the functional checks. Before you start a survey, to null out the magnetic susceptibility, place the meter on the ground surface, switch the toggle switch to the IP position, and re-null the system. So I'm bringing it down to zero. And there it is. And at this point, the EM38 meter is ready for survey. Okay, let's go over the steps of uh, getting the Garmin uh, 76 set up. The first step would be, of course, to power the unit. Make sure that your battery pack is fully charged and connected. There's two gray wires. One's a power and one's a communication cable. Connect this back to the back of the Garmin unit and the power cable. Okay, let's set up the Garmin unit for differential. The unit is turned on. Hit the menu button twice. Toggle down or up to the setup position and enter. Find interface by using the right or left toggle. Go to interface and we're going to say change the serial data format. Go down to RTCM in NEMA out and hit enter. Now let's go down and check and ensure that we're using the right frequency and baud rate. In this case, the nearest base station has a frequency of 300 and 9. It's tuning. And now it's receiving, so we're ready to go with the Garmin unit. Put the Garmin in the back of the backpack. Ensure that you have enough of the blue cable out to attach to the data logger. And then zipper it up. You can put it on your back right now. 
Okay, we have three components, the EM38, the Allegro CX data logger, and the backpack with the Garmin uh, in it on my back. Let's connect them. Let's start with the EM38 meter. We want to connect the EM38 cable. And then connect the EM38 cable to the COM1 port on your Allegro field computer. Sure that it's tight down. The next step is to connect the blue cable from the backpack with the Garmin unit to the COM2 port on your Allegro field computer. Okay, so we connected everything and now we're going to uh, set the program on the Allegro field computer. Okay, the first step would be to turn the uh, Lego field computer on, note the EM38 icon, and double click on it. This will bring up the main menu. Let's go down the options. You see on the right we have options monitor and log, survey setup, logger setup, set GPS port, and display options. Let's start with survey setup. We're going to be operating the continuous mode, so we want to have it in the auto position. Other options are wheel and manual. You don't have a wheel probably, and then sometimes you might want to use a manual. The manual is used when you want to use station to station, and you want to record things in both vertical and horizontal dipole orientation. We're in the auto mode. We're going to take one reading per second. Components, there's different options, conductivity or in phase. In phase is the metal detection phase. What we measure is the conductivity of the soil. Dipole orientation, vertical or horizontal. Most of you will use the vertical because you're going to be running in a continuous mode. Survey line, enter the line number. You can use a backspace, put in one or whatever number you want to start with. The line increment. Now on this one, it could be the spacing between the lines. So let's say you're going across the field and you say, I'm going to take 30 paces. So you can enter a 30. And that would be the line increment. And you're going to increase the line spacing by 30 paces. Sequence can be alternate or one way. One way would be is if you went down the field, completed a traverse, and then came back to the same end of the field which you started before and started the same way. This kills time, so let's use alternate. That's a snake wise. You go back and forth across the field. And actually these settings don't matter that much when you're using a continuous mode because everything's going to be georeference. The direction of the traverse, this one will be in east direction. The start station will be zero, and we're going to increment uh, the station increment by one. So every second we'll take a measurement, and then the next one will be, first one will be one, two, three, and so forth. Okay, let's logger setup. We attach the cable to the COM1 port. My units are in meters. I want to hear an audio mark, yes. You want to hear that the thing is being recorded. And pause, if you're in the midst of a traverse and you want to stop, just hit any key on the Allegro and it'll stop the recording. Next option is set GPS port. We see that the GPS Input is presently disabled. We will enable it. The serial port is a COM2 port that we have the cable attached to. Our board rate should be 4800 for use with the EM38 meter. To change this, simply click on the space and type a 4. 4800 will appear and OK it by just depressing it. Our parity should be no data bits 8 and stop bits 1. This is the settings for the GPS port when operating the EM38 meter. Hit OK. Display options. This shows the different colors that can be used. Conductivity vertical, conductivity horizontal, in-phase vertical, in-phase horizontal. Different thicknesses of pixel and colors. I'm just going to leave it like that. And now we've gone down through the options. Let's hit monitor and display. 
and we see the conductivity position is zero where it got differential GPS PDOP and we're tracking six satellites we're ready to begin our operation to begin operation simply hit create file and it's going to enter a date time group 12 meaning December the eighth day of December and it's at 10 in the morning and if this is good hit OK and we're ready to go uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen there are seven uh, six rather keys go line new station comment menu exit these will allow you to enter things while you're out there in the field surveying to begin the survey you just simply hit the go button and you're ready to survey we hit the go button and I think you can hear the, the audio and I have a graph that's being developed as I'm moving across the field here or the open space you can pause by hitting any key. Here's the data we just collected in the field and what we can see is it's highly irregular in terms of uh, conductivity. We have a range of 0 to 70 millisiemens per meter. And we have a lot of up and down pattern. We're in an urban setting and there's a lot of cultural noise, buried artifacts and so forth. Uh, to change the scale so we can see the portion that's been cut off, we hit the menu key and you see a hidden menu comes up, scale, display option, we hit scale and now what we're going to do is change the scale, we're going to lower it to let's say minus 15, hit the blue key, minus, enter 15 and then press OK and now you can see that we've seen a more of the scale, we still have a little bit that's cut off, but I'm not concerned about it. When you get back into your office, uh, connect the transfer cable to the COM1 port of your Lego field computer, and the other end to the serial port of your PC. Turn on both your Allegro field computer and your PC. On your PC, you should have Microsoft ActiveSync installed. Double click on Microsoft ActiveSync. Go to the file, get connected setting. Note the instructions. To connect your device to this PC, connect the cable to the PC which you've already done. Turn on the device which is done and disregard this about the cradle. Hit the next. Double click on the PC link on your Allegro field computer. wait as it processes it. It'll ask for your partnership. I generally choose no. Hit next and we're connected. The next step is go to the Window Explorer. Click on My Computer. You'll note that there's a mobile device. Double click on that. And go to My Handheld PC. C Drive. DAT38 data. Here's the files that were recorded. Go to Edit, Select All, Edit, Copy. They're all copied. Now go to My Computer C Drive. Look on your C Drive for the Geonics program. Double click on that. Go to the DAT38 window. Go to Upload Files and Edit, Paste. Once you have the data from your LEGO field computer transferred into your PC, go to your DAT38 for Windows program. We're going to convert EM38 Pro files. Select Input Files and let's just choose this one. We see it's a raw EM38 file double click on that in output it'll assign the same name and we're ready to convert and the file has been converted this converts a raw EM38 file into a Geonix 38 file once you have completed the conversion process go to GPS positioning double click on GPS positioning 
we select the input file which we just converted you see it's a G38 file open and output and let's just sign it test um, we can assign any name but we're going to assign it as a test and a GPS file that's been converted will have an XYZ uh, suffix. We selected uh, the data. Uh, conductivity was collected in the vertical dipole orientation, so you want to make sure that that has been marked. I generally put it into surfer format. You could choose generic. There are two formats, geodetic system format and UTM. If you select the UTM system format for positioning, positioning your measurements, you can either choose units in meters or feet. For this survey, we'll use a geodetic system formats and we'll use decimal degrees rather than degree minutes. GPS time gap should be set for three. If you're in an area where you have good uh, signal quality and reception, use only GPS corrected uh, data. If you're in an area where you don't have good reception of the GPS signal, you might want to use all signal, which would include the autonomous signals. Once you have everything selected, apply and the data is done. We go to File, Open XYZ, and our file is Test, and we'll open it. And here's a plot of our data. Look at the data plot and ensure that is where and how you collected the data. If you'd like to look at the data file, you also can use File, Open EM38 Profile, and choose the data file. Click Open, and here's the cross section. We see distances along the x axis and apparent conductivity along the vertical axis. If we move this across to this point and look up, look at these stations, line station, these entries here, you'll see that right here where the arrow is, we're at station number eight, and in the vertical dipole orientation, the measurement is 13 millisiemens per meter. This completes a brief refresher and training exercise on the use of the EM38 meter with the Garmin 76 GPS unit and the Allegro field computer. If you have any other questions concerning the use and operation of these tools, please contact us at the National Soil Survey Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thank you.